Hello everyone, this is a tutorial video for a large icosahedron frame. To build this, you will need 20 of these units, triangular units, that are double thick and a little bit smaller triangle on top of a larger tri triangle. You see 19 of these on the table here. I'll, I'll go ahead and build the 20th of these in the following way. The, you'll need two rings, one ring of 45 magnets and the other ring of 42. You can scale this uh, icosahedron build up or down depending on the size of these rings but the rings must be evenly divisible by three. So 45 and 42 are both evenly divisible by three. So you could scale up uh, and add three to this length and make it 48, and this one being 45, et cetera, to get a larger um, icosahedron. The next step is to pinch each of these into a triangle and this one we're going to pinch into a triangle with side eight. I can just use a ruler with side 16 that is. Um, and I can read off of the ruler, eight centimeters will be 16 magnets and give me a nice equilateral triangle with 16 magnets on a side. And the next step is to add the second layer to this triangle. And so you just follow around the triangular shape to complete the second layer of the large triangle. The second smaller triangle we do the same thing to. And this one is going to be, instead of 16 on a side, 15, and a half, um, 15 magnets on a side, which translates to 7.5 centimeters along the scale to get an equilateral triangle. 7.5 here, and double checking on the third to make sure that we have three equal sides. And then adding the same, second layer in the same way. And the, the last step for building the, the unit is to place the smaller triangle on top of the larger one. Snap together just like this. And then the, the corners tend to come up just a little bit. And then to add uh, one small magnet onto this group of four. Sometimes it wants to separate. Um, it's actually not crucial to fix that problem. Sometimes you can push this top one down and separate the two below it in order to get it to, to stick and not separate. And that is the, uh, the 20th triangle needed to make the icosahedron frame. Then basically you just start snapping this thing together to make the icosahedron. Then at each vertex, as they're made, you're going to put a small pent unit with a central magnet at the very center. So you just make a small pent ring and you put a small ma a magnet at the center of it. And that goes at the corner at this vertex of the icosahedron to strengthen it. 
Then we continue on around. It's very strong at this size and I imagine that it can be scaled up to much larger sizes than this. Unfortunately, uh, this is the total number, uh, this is the maximum size that I can make it with the number of magnets that I have. The total number of magnets used on this is 3,852.